What's going on guys? My name is Anthony and welcome back to your third tutorial in the basics of Java game development. Now in the last tutorial I just taught you guys how to display simple rectangles on the screen and in this tutorial it's going to be just as easy. I'm going to be teaching you how to display circles on the screen and I'm going to teach you how to change the color of your graphics that you're displaying. So you guys can just delete these two last lines of code that we made and we're going to start with g2d dot draw circle oh there is no circle cool let's draw oval my bad um so just hit enter there and again it's pretty similar basically you just specify the the x location in pixels so i'll do 100 the y location in pixels i'll do it 100 and then the width 100 and the height will do as 200 so it'll actually be a stretched oval um so if we run this you'll see that we have an outline of an oval Again, we can change this to actually a filled in oval by changing this to, actually I'll just make another method. We could go g2d dot fill oval, and we could change this to, I don't know, 400, 400, and then we could do a 100 by 100 circle. So again, if I didn't say this, this is just, I think this one was the width, uh, the third parameter is the width, and then the last parameter is actually the height of the, the oval. So if we run this, we'll get a filled in circle down here. So that's cool and all. What if we want to actually change the color instead of just having boring old gray? Um, we could actually do that by going G2D. Just go right above your draw oval, your first draw oval, and we'll go G2D dot uh, set color. Go down. And then this actually, it actually fills it in already with color dot red if you use IntelliSense. Um, so you could use multiple different colors that they have there. So if you do color and then the dot separator, um, oh yeah, make sure if this didn't happen automatically, make sure you have the java.awt.color library imported or else you won't be able to access the color objects or the color uh, constants within the color class. So in set color, just type out C-O-L-O-R dot and then you get a lot of colors that they already have preset they have black blue cyan magenta pink whatever you want um, we're just gonna use one of the preset ones and then after I'll teach you guys how to make your own and uh, so let's go with green and if we run this we get two green circles well one green circle one green oval um, so what if we wanted to make this one green and then this one another color well, all we have to do is right above our circle here, right in between there, we'll just go g2d dot set color. Now let's set this color to color dot, um, I don't know, let's go cyan. It's a nice color. Uh, we'll run that. And now we should have, whoops, make sure I hit run. I run that, we got one green outlined oval, if you guys can see that, and then a cyan color circle. Um, so now I'll just teach you guys how to actually make your own specific color object. What if you wanted to have a customized color with an RGB value? Um, you can actually do that in Java. Let's, uh, make, let's hope I can actually do this. I've never actually done it by myself. But uh, we just create a color object by calling the color class. And then name your color. I don't know, let's call it my color. And then set it equal to new color. And then in the parameters, you're basically just going to want to specify an RGB value. So if you go onto Google, good old handy Google, Google over here, uh, look up RGB uh, chart. And that should come up with a bunch of images. Just go on Google Images. And you could actually see, I think this is the one we want. Where's the RGB? There it is. So here's a good RGB image. It'll actually tell you all the RGB values, that's not a good one because, no, it's not what you want. I don't know, anyways, RGB, is this it? There we go, there's a decent one. Um, So this one will actually tell you the red, green, blue values. This isn't, I don't think all of them, this isn't all of them, but basically RGB values go from, um, they go from zero, 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 all the way up to 255 I think uh, I hope I'm right on that if I'm not it's up to like 254 or something but I think it's 0 to 255 
Now, the first parameter is going to be your red value. Now, let's put it in as 234. And then our second value is going to be our green value. So let's put it in as, I don't know, 23. And then our last parameter is actually our blue value. So we'll put it in as 56. Uh, I have no idea what color that is, but it might look really ugly. Uh, don't blame me. And then in our actual g2d.set color uh, call right down here, where we had it as cyan, let's just call our my color object that we created up here. And this will actually set our circle as the specified color that we made. Uh, so if we run this now, we get like a reddish pink color, I guess. But you guys can mess around with that. Just look it up on Google. You should be able to find the RGB charts. Uh, I just didn't want to take too much time out of this video. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to display images on the screen. So this is going to be really handy for when we're actually creating video games. We're going to obviously want to put on different characters on the screen and animate them. And yeah, so this is going to be a crucial tutorial coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.